This is just one of our can lines. Each line can fill about 2,000 12 ounce cans per minute. There are multiple lines that package approximately 60% of our beer in cans, 30% in bottles, and 10% in kegs. All the beer we make is filled under cold and sterile conditions. In 1959, Bill Coors helped pioneer the first two-piece all-aluminum can. He did not patent it because he wanted it to become an industry standard, which it did. Bill knew that recycling only works if the containers are returned. So in the early 1970s, he helped create the Cash for Cans program, which allowed the aluminum cans to be recycled. This sparked the recycling revolution. At Coors, we recycle or reuse more than 99% of our solid waste, including our spent grain, yeast, aluminum cans, and glass. We are proud to say that all of our major U.S. breweries are landfill-free. As Bill Coors would say, waste is a resource out of place. Coors Banquet had been brewed in Golden, Colorado using the same recipe since 1873. Adolph Coors Company won its first medal for Banquet in 1893 at the Chicago World's Fair. The stubby bottle was first introduced in 1936. It was reintroduced in 2013 using the same bottle shape and dimensions as the 1936 stubby bottle. Coors Light was introduced in 1978 with a buff-colored can. Since 1981, the silver-colored can has been used for Coors Light. In 1984, the official first usage of the slogan, Silver Bullet, was used as a reference to the Coors Light can. Also in 1978, the Coors Brewery changed the waterfall on all packaging labels. This waterfall is called Milton Falls and is located at Bogan Flats near Marble, Colorado. Mount Wilson is the inspiration behind the mountain on the Coors Light labels. Blue Moon was first introduced at the Samlot Brewery located at Coors Field in 1995. The Samlot was the first brewery housed within a Major League Baseball stadium. The original name for Blue Moon was Belly Slide Belgian Wit. Blue Moon was the first beer to use an orange as a garnish. AC Golden Brewing Company launched Colorado Native in April of 2010. The original intent of AC Golden was to provide a way to test batch small beers. Colorado Native is made with only Colorado in mind is only sold in Colorado and believes in supporting the state using 100% local Colorado ingredients. 